The year 1850 is displayed as the movie begins. In addition, a writer of sufficient renown appears. This author was not a local but had traveled to meet someone. This author knocks on the door of a residence. However, the resident lady requests that the author return because she was considering him to be any customer. However, the author tells the woman about himself that I am a writer and not a client. While opening the door, this woman calls the writer who she instantly recognizes. This author had met her husband at this residence and that woman's husband was named Thomas who was a senior citizen. This author had approached Thomas to inquire about a story. However, Thomas humiliates the author when he meets him. Are you mad? Have you traveled a great distance to meet me? However, the author disregards the wrath of Thomas. He tells Thomas that he has come to hear a story. In this instance, the author offers Thomas money. I will give you all my money if you tell that true story. Saying it, the writer also presents all his payments before Thomas. But Thomas refuses this proposal, and he says to the writer, Go and check the government history. You will get that story from there. But that writer says to Thomas, I need to listen to that real story by you. I don't need to check the government's history. Hearing it, Thomas is infuriated with that writer and he asks him to leave from there. Thomas also declares that I know nothing. Being worried, the writer begins to leave from there. But Thomas's wife does not let the writer go from there. Thomas's wife pardons the writer because of her husband's attitude, stepping in. Thomas's wife requests the writer not to mind anything about her husband because Thomas did not reveal that story to anyone, including me. Thomas's wife requests her husband here, going to him, that he may tell his story about that incident which they had faced. At last, Thomas consents to tell the story at his wife's request. The other fact is this they were vapo they needed money. Thomas has also agreed due to this need. Thomas calls that right turn near him, and he says to him, I will tell you the story to that extent which will be bearable for you, because it was not a fictional story but a tragedy. Thomas says, such an incident in my life changed me. Now Thomas begins to tell his story. In 1820, it was the time when the whale was hunted in the sea. The whale was hunted because its oil was red. Most people used to trade whale oil. It was not on an ordinary basis among them. But people were the lovers of whaling and extracting its oil. Even the people used to gamble on it. Which ship will get more oil among the sailing boats in the sea? A person is also shown there named Owen. Owen used to serve a company. He also had a wife. It means that he was satisfied with his life. It was a whaling company for which Owen used to serve. It is evident this company was made for whale oil trading. Owen meets that company's owner. They tell Owen they are sailing a costly ship in the sea for whaling. They inform Owen that we will send you, hiring as a ship head. Knowing it, Owen gets confused. Because they had promised Owen that you would be the ship's captain next time. But they took their words back. Because they were hiring a captain for someone else. And their expected captain's name was George. Actually, George was the son of the company's owner. The company whaler again promises Owen that they will hire him as a captain next time. Owen wages are increased because of his abilities. So Owen agrees with them. And he says to them that, sign a contract that you will hire me as a captain next time. Then it is seen that Owen was preparing himself for sailing. Owen's wife was not satisfied on his departure. She says to Owen, Promise me that you will return soon alive. Owen's wife also makes him put on a locket, so Owen may remember his promise. Afterward, the same boy, George, is shown who a captain is. There was also George's father. His father says to him, My son, go and return after getting triumph. Then all whalers gather at a place. 
There is a crowd in the city to send them off. There is a young boy named Thomas also shown there. Yes, he is the young storyteller who has grown old now. Thomas, who was sailing in the sea for whaling for the first time. There was Owen's childhood friend on the ship, along with other friends. After this, Captain George and Owen meet each other. Here a conflict starts between them, because George was putting a heavy hand on Owen as captain. But Owen could not take any action as being subordinate, because George was a captain. Then they sail, and the ship creates a problem sailing at a distance. It seemed as if the ship has entrapped at a place. But Owen resolves the risky situation, using his skills. It is clear that Owen could do it because he was experienced. But Captain George was totally the opposite. It means he needed to be more skilled and capable. So he feels a twinge of the envy, witnessing such skills of Owen. So he takes revenge on Owen at the dining table at night. George degrades Owen too much. That you are a layman and the son of a farmer. Owen was unable to tolerate this humiliation, but he could not take any action. So he leaves from there. His companions that we will have to get up early in the morning. It is noticed on that ship that lay people used to be avoided there. They were instead considered low. The next day, George again commands Owen. Now Owen had to carry out George's command reluctantly. Then Owen witnesses a storm at sea. He shares it with George that there is a storm at sea ahead which is a threat to us. So we should retreat our ship. Disagreeing with Owen, George commands them to sail the ship in the sea storm. Sailing into the sea storm, they are caught there. Owen also shouts at the sea storm that the ship must have retreated as soon as possible. But George was showing his waywardness ill now, and he makes the ship sail into the sea storm. In doing so, there was a threat to their lives in shipwrecking. Anyhow, they come out from the storm. After this, George orders Owen that you will apologize to me before everyone, and we will sail our ship towards our island. It means that we will retreat without whaling. But Owen tries his best to explain George that, look, try to understand the situation. We must return full-handed, because it is a matter of the lives of many people. They are waiting for us that we will return while taking the oil with us. And Owen convinces George here. So they begin to sail ahead rather than to retreat. Then a time is shown after three months. And they sail to a part of the sea where several whales are present. They sail on their ship for whaling. Then Owen attacks a whale. First of all, that whale tries its best to move aside. Later, it is in afterward. They pulled that whale on the ship, and they started to extract the oil from it. They have to send someone into the whale, so they send Thomas into the whale because of his small size. Many days are past of hunting. Now they were not getting more hunting, and the most significant trouble was this. They had started to need more edible things. They stop on an island in the sea because of not sailing ahead. There they meet a captain who had also come there for whaling. They all meet that man, and he tells the last story of his hunting. He says that we had reached the heart of the sea, where they encounter an enormous whale in the sea. And that whale was the tallest and biggest, named Great Whale. But Great Whale attacked their ship, destroying their boat. It fractured the one hand and an arm of the captain and the rest of the companions were also dead. But they don't take it seriously, thinking he is fabricating a story. So that captain leaves from there. But now they have become covetous, that they should sail to that part of the sea, where the great whale is present. After this, they sail ahead to reach that part of the sea. Then the story takes place in the time exactly after 14 months. After an incredible voyage, they finally reach in the part of the sea. The captain told them this, and the great whale was also there. They all sail there, taking their weapons and boats. They are still sailing ahead, and someone attacks Owen's boat. Consequently, they fall into the water from the boat. For the first time, they witness a great whale there. 
This whale was the same, according to the story told by the captain. The great whale began to leave, but Owen's companions were still seated in the boat. Getting a chance, they attack one of the whales. They can end the whale, but the great whale notices them for doing so. So it directly attacks their ship, moving there. As a result, the ship begins to sink. George was also observing this, sitting in the boat. Leaving that whale there, he starts moving to his ship. George commands everyone to leave the ship soon because it will sink. They all embark on the boats now and they get the edible things that they found by chance. In the following morning, it is seen that they were observing the sea map, but it had become a tough route to hold because they were again caught in a sea storm. In this sea storm, Owen's childhood friend is also severely injured. Now the time begins to pass, and Owen used to assist his wounded friend. While Owen's remaining companions were taking him as a bird, nothing else. Then the story takes place after one month, where their edible things had also been ended. They nearly died while facing the worst condition. Then their companion glimpses a land. Being satisfied, they begin to sail towards that land. Owen feels something when they are going to reach the shore. It was not the other thing but a great whale, which damages their boats while striking them. Then they reach at the shore of the sea with the speed of the ocean wave and their condition was not worse than an animal. It means they were eating whatever they got to survive and reaching on the island. Then George asks his companion to ignite the fire. The reason behind it is that any ship in the sea will take them away. Seeing it, it was an unpopulated and barren island where they were staying. One day, they find out a cave there in search of the food. There were several skeletons of humans. Indicates that people had been entrapped there while coming, but no one arrived for their help. So they think as they will also be dead like these humans. Then they start to repair their damaged boats after deciding to leave. Some of the people among them plan to inhabit the island. And Owen's childhood friend was also among them. But Owen promises his friend while going that he will return after bringing him help. Then the story starts after 48 days. Those people's condition was worst. And they were hardly living in the starvation. Then it is shown that their one of the companions is dead. Then Owen's one of the friends was going to throw his dead body into the sea. Then they make a mysterious decision. They decide to eat his dead body rather than to throw it. It was a heavy burden for them, but they also had no choice except it. All get worried because of this decision, but they had to do something for their survival because they were helpless when being caught in such a situation. So they eat the flesh of their friend. The story of the current time is shown again, where the aged Thomas comes on the scene. Thomas was dejected as they had to eat the flesh of their own companion. But Thomas' wife also reaches there while crying. She was grieved after hearing the poignant story of her husband. Then she says to Thomas to reveal the further story. Then the time after one month is shown after that happening. Where those people were straying in the sea as being entrapped. They were in the worst condition because of the starvation. So they play a game under pressure with one another in order to live, in which a loser was ended. Later, all companions used to eat his flesh collaboratively. One day, that Captain George loses his game. Giving a gun to his cousin, George asks him to fire it at me. Kill me. But George's cousin kills himself rather than firing a gun at him. And the rest of the people eat his flesh. One day, they again see that great whale. Then Owen is about to attack that whale. At the same time, Owen looks into that whale's eye. So Owen does not attack that whale, and it also leaves from there. Many days later, a ship is shown, and those people on the ship look at the boat of George. So they help them. When the ship's captain observes it that there are human skeletons, so he is left shocked, and that Owen and Thomas's boat had separated from another ship. Owen and Thomas were in critical condition and were dying. Thomas notices a ship 
and they call that ship for their support, and they get rid of this critical situation. At last, they are brought into their house after some days, surviving them, where the natives are surprised to see them, because they had estimated they would have dead a long time ago. Owen's wife was also waiting for him there. Owen's wife comes to him, and they both meet. On the same day, Owen and Thomas also meet. Owen gifts his wheel pen to Thomas as his memory. After this, company management calls Owen and George to hear the story which they faced in the sea. Owen begins to leave because their story was indeed not trusted. Owen says to George while going, perform your duty as a captain, reveal the truth to them. In the beginning, George tells a lie. Then he reveals the truth later, but the members of the company tell a fabricated story. After this, Owen is shown. Now Owen had got a new life. So he begins his new life ideally, and he also sends a boat for his friend on island according to his promise. But it was too late because Owen's friend was no more now. Here the story of Thomas is accomplished. Thomas asks after telling the story. Will you reveal it before the world? The writer replies, Yeah, but I will give a new turn to this story that will be based on the actual happening. After work, the time is shown after many months. It is shown here that writer wrote the book, and he became renowned, and the movie also completes on the scene.